Well, the 2012 hurricane season is underway, but not everyone is prepared, including myself. I have to get it together. AgriLife agent Terry Looney joins us with the essentials. And, you know, when I saw that we were doing this, I said it's perfect timing because mm -hmm. I haven't even thought about it. I mean, just so many things on my plate, and I know a lot of people just busy out there. That's right. And it's one more time, you know, June 1st comes around, and sure here does. we go. So it's time to get prepared as we do everything else. Get your supplies together, your checklist, make sure your extra batteries, all of those things that you don't want to wait till the last minute. Absolutely. So take advantage. There's a lot of sales that are going to be on, you know, 4th of July, Father's yeah. Day, all of those. Oh, yeah. Use those opportunities to make sure that you have all of your essentials, plenty of water. Um, you've, you've taken inventory. You've got pictures of everything, backed up your computer, yeah. all of those. So that's for, yeah, and what what is the supply of food that you should have? Is it two weeks? Or? Um, the recommendation is a minimum of seventy two hours, but the reality is more like ten days. Yeah, and the research that's been shown is about half the people that live in the coastal area do not have three days worth of food on hand. Yeah, and so we really should have at least two weeks worth of groceries. And, you know, you don't have to be real elaborate. You don't have to break your budget. We're talking jars of peanut butter, packages yeah. of crackers, canned chicken or tuna, stuff that's very easy, nutritious, relatively inexpensive, yeah. and can be used throughout the year. The, the idea behind your food storage is buy what you use, use what you buy, mm -hmm. so that you're constantly rotating. Absolutely. If you do have a specific hurricane bucket and a grab-and-go kit, those food items do need to be checked and changed out periodically. Mm -hmm. Even bottled water does have an expiration date on it. It sure does. And, you know, we're recommending at least one gallon per person per day. So 10 days for one person, that's 10 gallons of water you need to have stored. And something that you just brought up, I was talking about the baby over the break, and you said you have to really have like a little bucket for the baby as well. I That's right. Babies that. have special needs. Diapers are about yes. impossible to get. Extra baby formula and perhaps even the kind that's ready to go in the can, not mm -hmm. that you have to add water to, so it's already mm -hmm. sterile and mixed. Um, you know, just all of those things, where are you going to go, how are you going to travel, and if you've got young children, babies, you know, they're not going to do well in a car for 10 hours while you're trying to get to Houston. So you need to extra preparation. Where are you going to go? Maybe leave a little bit earlier. Have your child's immunization records, doctor oh goodness, records, yeah. all of those things so that if you do end up out of town, 